December 3rd. Mike and I are on our way down to Oklahoma. We got to go ahead to hunt the property that Mike hunted last year late season. Seen quite a few deer just while we were bopping around on the Rambos. Pretty excited to come back and hunt down here. This is it, I can feel it. My stomach's been turning all morning. Just a beautiful, beautiful Oklahoma deer. If we get an opportunity at a doe or two, we might take it. I decided to get an Oklahoma tag. It's been a pretty, pretty tough season for me. This was really my first actual opportunity on a, on a solid whitetail off yeah. season. Glad we found her. Blood trail was a little bit tough. We had to go through some pretty thick stuff and tracking in here is just not, not an easy task. So glad we were able to recover. We're gonna get her out of here and uh, we'll be back probably in another, I wanna say week and a half, um, sometime after Christmas or New Year's, so. 
It is January 3rd today. Uh, me and Aaron are headed back down to Oklahoma here for our last kind of hoorah of the season. Uh, we got two and a half days of hunting here, and then we got ATA show coming up. Um, we're just heading back down to the farms that me and Brennan have been hunting uh, the last month. We still got one or two solid bucks on the cameras and a pile of does. It's a little bit cooler tonight. It's gonna be probably in the mid 40s. Um, that's about as cold as it's gonna get though uh, down here for the next couple days. We're gonna get down here. We're kind of pushing it for time. Uh, probably gonna get down here around 2, 2.30 plan is to probably sit where I shot my buck here a month ago or a few weeks ago and uh, go from there. Well, we just snuck out of the blind here. We're, we're actually probably about five, 600 yards um, back towards the vehicle. So just slipped out of there um, as quiet as we could. Um, shot looked back. I don't know, I, I think I just screwed up and rushed, rushed a shot was all, which was stupid. I had all the time in the world to squeeze off on him, but um, anyway, um, he, he rebounded out to about 75, 80 yards. Stopped there for, I bet you he was there for 15, 20 minutes. Um, didn't look like he was doing too good, so uh, he, he eventually slowly walked up and to a little timber thicket that he was standing by and we lost sight of him. I don't think he's gonna be too far from there. Um, so we're gonna just back out. We left the bow and everything else pretty much back in the blind. Um, 
probably give him, I would say, at least a solid six hours. Just gotta give him time here. Well, the shot's pretty much right where we were expecting it was gonna be. Right dead, right dead center mid-body. He's slightly quartering, not too much quartering, but I think it punched it a little bit more forward. Um, I don't think he'll be too far from where we last seen him, but it's gonna give him time. But wish I definitely could have made a better shot on him, so I'm a little disappointed in myself, but um, it's just hunting. Rushed a shot on accident, and it could be a lot worse, could be a lot better. light to track. Probably another five, ten minutes, so decided to come look for the arrow first. But we're gonna probably head right over where we last watch the deer. And we'll go over there and check, see if we can find blood right away. And go from there. <laughs> he only went 15 yards from where we last seen him. We just got up here, where are we? We last seen him. It's still a little bit dark, I'm trying to look for blood. And, <clears throat> didn't have any luck. I mean, it's, it's still pretty dark out. In this grass, it's just very tough to see in this stuff. So I told Aaron, I'm like, I'm just gonna do a loop around. There's a little bit of a wood lot here, not much, but a little bit of brush. I said I was gonna do a loop around this. There's a pond on the back side of here, so I mean, there's really nowhere else for him to go other than out around one of the ends. And he's laying right around here. <laughs> oh man, let's go take a look at him. He's a nice deer, man. Yeah, he's been, he's been toast for a while, too. Oh, yeah. Sweet. It's been a rough season for me, for the most part, up until the last few weeks here. Um, a lot of the other hunts that we had planned <clears throat> all fall between Kansas and Wisconsin and uh, other, other hunts um, just weren't working out and decided to come back to Oklahoma this year. And this is really my second day of hunting down here, I guess you could say. Was fortunate enough to shoot a really nice buck out of the same blind um, a few weeks back, same blind that Brennan shot his nice nine pointer out of. And this was one of the bucks we still had on camera. He's, in, he's actually a lot bigger than I thought he was. But it's been a, it's been a tough year, not just hunting. Um, had a bunch of health issues and that's been a struggle as well, and uh, I just, I wanted to dedicate this deer to my wife um, for all the work that she's put in, uh, making sure that I've been taken care of and that, uh, that I've been getting the best care possible so I can do things like this and get back out in the woods doing what I love to do. Um, not only that, but she's, she's been holding down the fort all fall long. Um, when I'm on the road and uh, I can't thank her enough for everything that she does. We are going to get some pictures of this deer. Um, we have a couple doe tags, two, three doe tags I think left in the pocket. But I'm, I'm tagged out as far as bucks go down here. Um, probably sit here this afternoon, maybe punch, punch a doe tag to get some more venison and we're going to head back home, call her a year.
that's gotta be the toughest doe I've ever seen. <laughs> We've been here for 10 minutes. I think we're just gonna call it. <laughs> we're not gonna get greedy here. We're gonna end on a high note here this year. It's been a hell of a season here in Oklahoma. Um, can't wait to hopefully get down here next year and do it all over again, so. Aaron said we haven't even been in Oklahoma for 24 hours. And uh, we got two deer down, so. This is a pretty special place. <laughs> Wrap it up. Yep, bye. 2019 kicked us in the ass, but we're doing all right so far. <laughs> 2020. <laughs> yep.